This is amazing. Using this, you can create a full stack application but just giving prompts. Just in few minutes, you are able to create a one page website like this with about us, testimonials, contact form, and you can also add more information here. This changes the way we develop an application today. This is just a starting point to create a full stack application. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about GPT Pilot. In this, mainly I'm going to show you how you can set this up on your computer, in your terminal and create a one page website. This uses multiple agents such as project owner agent, architect agent, devops agent, tech lead agent and developer agent. The project owner agent is going to get project specification. The architect is going to plan on how the application is going to look like. The DevOps agent is going to set up the environment. The tech lead is going to manage the application on how it should be developed, what programming language, etc. Finally, the developer is going to write the code. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, git clone gpt pilot and then click enter now we're going to create a virtual environment conda create hyphen n gpt pilot python equals 3.11 and then click enter next conda activate gpt pilot and then click enter now pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and then click enter now in this folder we have a folder called pilot so we are going to navigate inside the pilot folder after opening in the vs code application this is the folder structure of the pilot folder there you will see a file called dot env dot example just right click and rename that as .env and click enter. Now here you can enter your OpenAI API key and you can even define your custom open source large language model here. Just change this endpoint to this endpoint, HTTP localhost 1234 slash v1 if you're planning to use LM Studio. And similarly, you can use text generation web UI and other OpenAI compatible application. In this way, you are able to use any open source large language model inside GPT pilot. But for now, I'm going to use OpenAI. I'm going to keep all other things as it is, but you can modify the model name, the tokens, the database name, it's up to you. If you want to save it in Postgres, just uncomment this and set up your Postgres database. But I'm going to keep everything default, so it's going to automatically create a SQLite database and store all the information in that database. Now coming back to the terminal, python db underscore init dot py and then click enter. Make sure you've installed the node application, which you can download from node.js here. Now type python main.py and then click enter. Starting new project, what is the project name? One page website and then click enter. Describe your app in as much detail as possible. I'm just going to type it's one page website, which should contain home about testimonials and contact form. It should have a good design and then click enter. Now start writing. First is planning for the project architecture. Next is setting up the environment and it's asking, can I execute the command version of node? So make sure you've already installed a node on your computer. Now I'm going to click enter. Then it comes to the dev step one. This is the GPT pilot workflow. First, the user write the description. Then it asks for the clarification. Then it breaks down the user requirements, then tech requirements. Then it's setting up the environments and break down the app into development tasks. And finally, it writes the code. So each step is done by different agents, such as product owner agent, product owner agent, architect agent, DevOps agent, tech lead. Finally, the developer agent writes the code. Here, now it's dev step two, then dev step three, then comes up to dev step six. Finally, it's asking, is everything working? Now we're going to run this. If I open the VS code, I can see the website got saved in this workspace location. So I'm going to click that. Right click open integrated terminal. Now we are inside the folder here. It's asking us to type node server.js. So I'm going to go to the terminal type node server.js. And now the app is listening to port number 3000. This page says server is running. And here it's asking me to test, test the server response, whether server is running or not. And I'm going to say proceed or click enter to proceed further. It says type continue to proceed. So I'm going to type continue and click enter. Now it's going to create other pages such as about 
testimonials and contact and it's writing the code which I can see now I'm going to run this on the left hand side and right hand side I'm keeping the browser open so I can monitor the changes now it's updating the file I cancelled the previous run and restarted the application by typing node-server.js and it came up with home page it is asking me to go to slash contact then it's contact page slash about it's about page slash testimonial and it came to the testimonials page now I'm going to ask it to add content to these pages so it's asking is everything working type proceed so I'm going to type add example content to each page and also make sure it's designed properly you can see in the server.js file it's creating the main component and in the weaves folder it's creating weaves template so this is a complete full stack development now going back to the previous page I'm going to cancel this and restart again I'm going to refresh this page I can see some content going back to the about page it has some information then going back to the contact page get in touch with us through form then going back to the home page it gives the home page with various links now I'm going to the previous terminal and say add bootstrap design to each page and make it more professional add enough content so it should look like a real website and click enter I can see the bootstrap elements are getting added with all the required tags can I execute the following command yes can I start debugging the issue yes on the right hand side I can see the page got updated like this this is amazing one page website home about testimonials and contact where if I click one button it automatically goes to that particular location and I can see the form as well can I execute the processing command yes now I can see it's opening in port number 3001 because of the new command so I'm going to click that going back to the terminal going to cancel this and try restarting and I can see the website here I can see few errors in the console here it's saying that I should copy from node modules bootstrap CSS the bootstrap min.css to this public CSS folder so I'm going to do that go to node modules bootstrap dist CSS bootstrap min.css copy as per the documentation create public slash CSS folder so I'm going to right click new folder public slash CSS and inside that folder I'm going to paste it that's it now I refresh the page and it's looking like this this is beautiful I can further modify this if required by adding more prompts I just created this in just five minutes now you can create any websites or applications like this with just prompting and this is just a boilerplate where you can develop from I'm really excited about this I'm going to create more videos similar to this so stay tuned I hope you like this video do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching